Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon and welcome back to Soul Reaver 2. So I think we're nearing the end of the game here and we need to sneak back into here so we can steal the heart of Janos Aldrin. And also, prob how do you know I'm here? Probably kill uh, ourselves maybe? I don't know how that's gonna work with the time thing. All right, I don't have to worry about getting a little bit of extra health here. We should be fine. Okay, we got two on each side, so we should be able to take these ones out. These guys are the easiest to fight, as long as they're by themselves. Oh wow, nice, one shot. Perfect. Okay. All right, uh, I... Oh, oh, that's just closing. Okay, I don't have to worry about that. I can shoot it back open again if I really need to. <laughs> Why do they like strafe? That is so weird. They just, like, strafe around after you shoot them. Okay, one of them's almost- should be almost dead at this point. My sword is about to start trying to kill me. Can I get that soul from here? That might be too far away. That should be good. Yeah? No. Oh, come on. I don't want to... Okay, hold on. Let me go steal this guy's weapon, and then I'm going to fight you with it. Still did a lot of damage to me, but I'll take it. Let's. I'm assuming we're trying to get back to that like center chamber that shows. Oh, that shows. Raziel killing Janos Audra. Seize him. like being able to just run around them sometimes. Okay, give me this health. Oh, come on. I don't like this. Give me this. Okay, good. There we go. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, one of them's dead at least. Could you stop? There we go. Get all my health back. Oh, and that I didn't realize that they had a locked door. Wait, was it? Was it this one? I wasn't paying attention. No, I went the wrong way. Because there's the weapon I just dropped on the floor. Hopefully I don't have to fight them again when I go back in. Nope, okay, we're good. So that's the... That's the time room, isn't it? Or no, I don't remember. Okay, something's gonna fight me here very clearly. Oh, wait, no. Alright, I guess we're going to this room here. What's in here? Oh, is this the big open... Oh! Suddenly and inexplicably, I discovered the Reaver suspiciously laid across my path. Mm. 
Again, I sense nothing of that temporal distortion, the peculiar sense of displacement I had felt when I encountered the Reaver in William's Chapel. This sounds... Cornered here with the blade, I suffered the same nameless dread that I had experienced when Janos first presented the Reaver to me. I felt at once repelled by the blade, and yet overwhelmingly compelled to seize it. So, Razia, here we are, finally. You have no choice but to confront me now. Great. And I am not so foolish as I've let you believe. We have business to conclude. You knew I would lead the Seraphim to Janos, you vile bastard. You've been orchestrating my every move. <laughs> my destiny is an amusement to you. It was fun while it lasted. I think not, Raziel. Malik, do not let this creature leave. Malik. He poses a danger. That name sounds familiar. Poor, deluded Raziel. Did you somehow imagine you had the guile to change history on me? I'm the time streamer. I knew your every intention before you did. The time streamer. Imbecile. Lord Mobius, there is trouble within. The circle is under Hold attack. Hold fast, Malik. This one is the real danger to us. What are you trying to concoct here, what? Mobius? You toxic creature. Did you imagine I'd simply allow you to run loose? Corrupting everything you encounter. I admit that I've underestimated you to this point, Mobius. It's a mistake I won't repeat. Wrong again, Raziel. Now, Mac, bolt the door. Using his staff to disable my wraith blade, Mobius effectively disarmed me. Okay. Leaving me with only one choice of weapon. And yet I confess, it was not the lack of options, but blind rage that made me take up the Reaver. In my fury, it felt as though my hand had acted of its own will. And now, that same hand clutched the hilt with unyielding strength, and I felt a constrained tingling, a remote but palpable sense of longing, as the disabled Wraithblade tried vainly to embrace its physical twin. Ah. Oh, I just teleported from over there to over here. So... I guess I'm continuing on this direction then. So now I've got the the actual blade and the wraith blade. Uh, hi. Come to take your revenge, demon. Back to hell with you. Great. I recognize these two as my former brethren, in life as Seraphan, and in unlife as Cain's vampire sons. Oh! Melchiah and Zephon, the weakest of Cain's brood. These bastards had no idea what future lay in store for them, how they would become the very thing they so despised. The Reaver hummed with ravenous anticipation. Janos had called it a vampiric blade, endowed with the power to drain its victims of their lifeblood. I was eager to see what the Reaver would do to these two. <laughs> so, okay. So I fought these ones in the first game. Am I just, hold on. Have they hit me? Am, am I just getting health back this whole time? Now that I had taken it up, the Reaver and I were inescapably joined. The harder I tried to release the blade, the more tightly my hand gripped the hilt, uh -oh. as if possessed of its own will. Are they... Okay, I guess I'm just fighting them now. <laughs> this is actually pretty fun. Oh, wait. 
Oh, they can't, they can't damage me. I'm immortal with this blade. Or at least against these two I am. So, I'm the one who killed them to, oh, okay. I'm the one who killed them that allowed past, uh, and that allowed past Cain to turn them into vampires. like one of these fighting sequences early in the game is then I could learn how to actually do the fighting As stuff Kaya and Zephon fell before my blade I felt the Reaver's bloodthirst as keenly as I ever had when I was still a vampire I could sense the boundary between us dissolving the Reaver was consumed with my rage and I was intoxicated by its bloodlust the blade had a vitalizing effect on me my physical energy no longer decayed over time, and the wounds inflicted by my foes healed almost instantly. The Reaver had made me invincible. But... Is, is there no but here? I, I can still... I can still press the button to call the Wraith Blade. So am I just gonna go through and kill all of my my vampire brethren? Oh, that's me, right? On the left? Have you come to reclaim the monster's black heart? You'll have to get to us first. Wait, no, that's not me on the left. I had a more orange... My former brethren, Duma and Rahab, confronted me next. This all seemed so elegantly choreographed. Exhilarated by the Reaver, I was drunk with revelations. I could finally appreciate the delicious irony of Cain's blasphemous private joke. And I reveled as I colluded with him across the centuries. For it was I who put these bastards in their tomb, thus providing the corpses for Cain to raise as his vampire sons a millennium from now. <laughs> this feels like a finale sequence. Like, I feel like there's gonna be like a big boss fight after this, but in general, th this feels like we're nearing the end of the game. So I'm gonna try to finish it in this sitting. We'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, if the game crashes, that'll suck, but... They have no idea that I'm invincible. This is great. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what? I thought you were... Oh, do I have to do a finishing blow on them? For it to count? Okay, there we go, you're dead. And you're a little easier. There we go. And that's gonna open this, I guess? Yeah. All right. Is There's no door through here, though, is there? Ah, hello. Get back to the pit, you cruel <laughs> demon. And here at last was my brother, Turel. <laughs> who along with Duma would bear me into the abyss without questioning Cain's command. Oh, great. So dutiful and righteous, even as a vampire. I guess some habits die hard. <laughs> the vampire Turel had eluded my vengeance. The Saraphan Turel would not. Oh, was he one of the ones that I didn't kill in the first game? 
Wait, can I imbue this with energy? No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh man, this is really cathartic. <laughs> Just being completely invincible. If I go to the spectral realm, will I drop the sword? That's a good question. Okay, can we... Can we just... There we go. Oh, wait. God damn it. I just need to do, like, a couple more hits, I think. There we go. Stabbed. Great. Okay. What next? Oh, the little... Oh, there is a little door here. I forgot about that door. Oh, we are heading back to the time chamber, right? Because that's where... That's where I, I came out through this door the first time. I think. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's nothing in this hallway. Ah, and here's the big room with the, the images on the walls, right? Ah. So, vampire, here we are. You've destroyed my brethren, and now you've come for me. You'll find I'm not such easy prey. I don't want to kill, but I will if I must. Return the heart to me, and we can end this now. <laughs> so, you've come to avenge that filthy parasite and reclaim his foul heart. You're a righteous fiend, aren't you? Apparently, I am. <laughs> no, vampire. This is where it ends. But you won't be leaving this room. Now, let's finish this. I'll make it mercifully quick. As you did for Janos... <laughs> no, that beast had eluded us for far too long. It would have been a shame to end him too quickly. It's ironic, really. The great Janos Ordrin turned out to be no challenge at all. Thanks to you. Did you hear his cowardly screams when I tore that black heart out of his carcass? Can... can I hurt me? Wow, he, he is really fast. Uh, it looks like he can't hurt me. So I'm gonna kill myself. That's hilarious. So the person who came in here... So the the murals on the wall about the, the person who came in here and killed everyone was me. But then also the other mural on the wall about the person who went in and killed the Janos Audrin was also me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because there's murals on the walls in this room in the future. I'm just running around in circles punching myself in the back of the head. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I'm surprised I don't have, like, a more interesting sword. Split second. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I renounce you. <laughs> oh, 
I renounce you. <laughs> oh, that was squishy. And so it ends. My history comes full circle. Oh, standing in the Ouroboros. That's hilarious. Sensing its twin, the wraith blade uncoiled itself from me and instead wound lovingly around its former self. I felt its grip loosen, and as the blade left me, its absence chilled me more than its presence ever had. A foreboding sense of emptiness and loss stole over me, and a terrible revelation gathered like a storm at the edge of my awareness. With all other foes exhausted, the conjoined blades turned themselves on me, and I realized Finally, why I had sensed nothing when Janos offered me the blade. The Reaver was never forged to be a soul-stealing weapon. The ravenous, soul-devouring entity trapped in the blade was, and always had me. been, me. Whoa. This is why the blade was destroyed when Cain tried to strike me down. The Reaver could not devour its own soul. The paradox shattered the blade. So, this was my terrible destiny. Whoa. To play out this purgatorial cycle for all eternity. I could not bear it. Despair overwhelmed me. Did he not know that? You. weakening unable to hold on any longer wow the reaver was too strong the compulsion to simply let go too great so and then a growing sense of vertigo and the familiar displacement the paradoxical moment when my twin soul hovered both outside and inside the reaver blade this was the instant the glimmer of temporal distortion Cain had been counting on all along. This was the edge of the coin. The minute flicker of probability upon which Cain had gambled everything. Wow. That's such a cool... Now you are free to reclaim your true destiny, Raziel. Behind Cain's eyes, I could see new memories blooming and dying oh. as history labored to reshuffle itself around this monumental obstruction. And I could see by the dawning horror on his face that perhaps we had strained history too far so, this time. So, this is the same thing that happened when I didn't kill him before. My fate. He may have introduced a fatal paradox. My God, the Hilden. We walked right into their trap. The Hilden? Janos must stay dead. But Cain's warning was lost as I slipped into the spirit realm, too weak to maintain my physical form. And there, Waiting for me as always was the Reaver, the Wraith Blade, my own soul, twinned and bound eternally to me. And I realized that I could never escape my terrible destiny. I had merely postponed it. Whoa. History abhors a paradox. Wow, that was so cool. History abhors a paradox. Well, are we done? Did it stop here? Hold on. Oh, you know what? I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if there's supposed to be a video playing here. And it's not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up. If I, if I close out of this, it'll crash everything. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it on my phone. I feel like, I feel like we're at the ending here. If this is the end and there's nothing left, I'm probably gonna edit in the credits here. 
And if you guys are watching the credits right now, you know that this is the end. Uh, let's see. Um, epilogue. Swim to the northeast. Just encounter with Kane. Uh, oh, epilogue of uh, chapter chapter one. Um, let's see. Uh, continue walk through. The Ruins of the Future. Chapter, final chapter. Uh, the final battle with Raziel. Yeah, okay. Like the others, pretty simple battle. Since you cannot die, have fun watching the ending. All right, so we did it. We finished the game. Um, I'm going to probably edit in the credits here. Uh, I don't know how long they are, so this the credits may run past what we're what I'm talking about here. But either way, uh, I had a really great time with this. Other than because the PC build of these this game and the first game is really bad, uh, it's a bad port, so I had a few issues with it. But uh, I will I'm not right away, but I do have the other two games. Um, there's uh, Blood Omen Two and Defiance. And then, technically, there's two other games other than that that I haven't played on the channel, but neither of them exist anymore. So, because there's Nosgoth, and then there was another spinoff series, that, or spinoff game that was cancelled. And I did play Nosgoth for a little bit while it was active on, on Steam, uh, but I don't think there's any way to play that anymore, which I'm really sad for. It was, a, um, it was set during the, the 500 years when Raziel had his wings torn off and thrown in the thing. So it basically took place during the opening cutscene. And it was the fight, it was the war between the the remaining Seraphan and the the vampires. And you played as one or the other and you fought the other faction. It was really fun. Uh, but either way, that's all the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you liked the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night. And if there's still credits, I'll let them run. If we're done, I'll probably edit in the ending screen. I don't know. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.